Good evening and happy Great Reset. Tonight we've got compelling stories that will violate your psychology and help us further take over your mind. Please be sure to think we have your best interest at heart or else it won't work. Our top stories tonight. The latest in how Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum are destroying lives and countries in order to save the environment. Sri Lanka overthrows their president. Hunter Biden had his iCloud account hacked. And it's been announced that people might start dying of a mysterious heart condition. It's not what you think. Find out what we want you to think in just a minute. But first, reptilian overlord Klaus Schwab and his World Economic Forum want to take care of you. So much so that if you don't let them, they'll decimate your life. And if you do let them, they'll decimate your life. But at least you'll be happy about it. For the latest on the beneficial impacts of the policies that the highly revered, climate crisis saving, very unelected world leader Klaus Schwab are having, Let's check out what's happening in Sri Lanka. After strongly adhering to World Economic Forum influence over the country by Sri Lankan President Gotabia Rajapaska, the country's economy has been decimated. Their food shortages, fuel shortages, and medicine shortages have rampaged the country while inspiring the Biden administration and leading the country's very impressive inflation rate to 54.6% in June. And over this past weekend, citizens of the country, after mistakenly thinking they're being oppressed, flooded the presidential palace demanding the president resign. And it worked. Rajapaska announced he will step down from office on Wednesday. He then tried to flee the country. Yet citizens and airport staff blocked him from leaving the country as it's thought that he wanted to leave the country prior to his presidential immunity expiring on Wednesday so he can avoid being arrested for his crimes against the country. This just in, he got away, <laughs> left the country after all. Now we at the media want to clear up any confusion. The vast majority of Sri Lankan citizens who have been intentionally oppressed with Rajapaska being under the thumb of Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum haven't been oppressed at all. So why the revolt? Well, it's looking like the explanation for an entire country revolting is because they're all Trump supporters addicted to insurrections and human rights. Therefore, the January 6th committee is expected to conclude that the overthrowing of the Sri Lankan president that happened last weekend happened on January 6th. Because Sri Lanka is in a different time zone, as stated by star witness Cassidy Hutchinson. And let us explicitly remind you just like how communism works everywhere it's implemented, Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum's green policies work everywhere they're implemented too. And they absolutely will work if you comply. Mm. And for US citizens who look at our food, fuel, and medicine shortages along with our mega inflation and wonder, is our World Economic Forum compliant administration doing the same thing that the criminal Sri Lankan president was trying to do? Well, let us tell you, no! To help solve our fuel problem, energy expert Joe Biden told gas stations they should lower their prices. What else do we need here, guys? Plus, our good-hearted leftist leaders have already advised you that if you don't like the fuel costs, then you should just buy an electric car. It's clearly the solution. Meanwhile, in Gavin Newsom-led California, who is a strong loyalist to the World Economic Forum, the state has asked people to stop charging their electric vehicles due to power grid concerns. And in traditional fashion, the fact checkers have stepped in to inform you that what happened didn't really happen. A necessary step to make the World Economic Forum's Agenda 2030 look the way it's supposed to. And in other news, the Epoch Times asks, why is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the World Economic Forum, and the United Nations and their Agenda 2030 involved in our global food systems. We'll provide you with full coverage of not looking into that answer as we will now report to you on something else. Hmm, I wonder why the Epoch Times had their Hong Kong offices set on fire. Maybe the elites just thought it was a food processing plant or something. Next in the news, you might be wondering why young people are all of a sudden very mysteriously dying from 
heart conditions. Because new findings suggest that up to 5,500 people might be dying in any given year from such heart conditions. Now what's causing these lethal heart conditions? Solar flares! Yeah, that's right, the solar flares are doing it. And you're gonna have to just take our word for it because we know you don't have the equipment necessary to study solar flares to validate this very compelling explanation. It's been the solar flares. Now you can finally stop asking the questions that we don't want you asking. We also have reason to believe that solar flares are causing our open border, food shortages, fuel shortages, Biden falling off his bike, and Mercury being in retrograde is causing inflation. Damn the universe for conspiring against us. And Hunter Biden sits in boiling water as the iCloud account associated with his phone was hacked by a 4chan user. We don't know how it was hacked, given the very sophisticated passwords that a scholar like him must be using. Because as the owner of the laptop store has shared, that when Hunter dropped off his now infamous laptop that doesn't exist, he said his password is... Anal f***ing 69. Hmm. Lisa, can you change the password to all my accounts? I think there's been a compromise. In his iCloud account on his phone, there's wholesome videos of Hunter with crack, having sex with prostitutes, documents of foreign payoffs, and him listing his father, Joe Biden, on his phone contacts as Pedo Peter which is all likely to be 100% Russian misinformation, and we can confidently make this conclusion because we don't want you to know about any of this. So watch us stop reporting on all the incriminating evidence against the Bidens, and then watch yourself start thinking, well, if there really was something there, the media would be telling us about it, right? Right. If you want the full details on the Hunter Biden iCloud hack, check out the video on JP's new Reacts channel, linked in the description here. You stupid, you stupid son of a You're gonna reveal the whole plan! You're gonna ruin it! Don't ever say that again! Get Hillary on the line for me. And in other news, the Clintons would like to report that my video producer has just committed suicide by beating himself to death with this club. He was truly a troubled individual. Now to clear Biden's good name, we'd like to share with you that Hunter's dad is selling oil reserves to a Hunter Biden tied Chinese firm. What a good humanitarian deed. We clearly have too much oil and the Chinese Communist Party needed some. And luckily, Hunter had a connection that allowed Joe to get them some. And speaking of China, Chinese citizens are rebelling over having their bank accounts frozen. In a rare show of defiance, protesters are on Sunday clashed with security forces outside the Chinese central bank in the city of Zhengzhou. Demonstrators are outraged over the freezing of deposits by some local banks. They stormed the building demanding their funds be returned. The banks froze millions of dollars worth of deposits in April, telling customers they were upgrading their internal systems. I guess the Chinese Communist Party needs their citizens' money more than their citizens do. It seems like a very fair green deal to me. That's it for tonight's news! Please have milk and cookies waiting for Klaus Schwab when he comes to haunt your house. Kids, you should strive to be like Hunter Biden and watch out for those solar flares. All hail Satan. Good night! <laughs>